Hello and greetings from VitaPlus. I'm John Ernest and today we're going to continue our series of instructional videos on Forge inoculant application equipment. We'll be looking specifically at the Dorman DE8 AgServe applicator, but the information about calibrating also applies to the tank type DE25 through DE100 units. The DE8 is well suited for applying liquid inoculant at a blower, on a bagger, or at a high moisture corn processing unit. This pump equipment doesn't come with a tank and is most often hung on a clean 55 gallon plastic barrel. This system works similar to field spraying equipment where different combinations of pressure and nozzle sizes result in the desired application rate. Here we see a DE25 applicator on a pull type chopper. Calibration is the same as the DE8. Let's do a quick example with high moisture corn. First, I like to determine what the solution application rate will be per ton of forage or high moisture corn. These are high volume applicators as opposed to the ultra low volume applicators featured earlier and generally apply a pint or more of liquid per ton. For high moisture corn in our Buchnerai and Stage 2 products, I recommend one pint per treated ton. This rate works out well in combination with our large packets that treat 333 tons of corn. 333 pints happens to be 41.6 gallons and matches up well with a 55 gallon barrel. So to start with, mix up one large packet of Buchneri 40788 or stage two with 41.6 gallons of water. For the smaller packets that treat 60 tons, mix up one packet with 8.25 gallons. Next, figure out the grinding rate in tons per minute of the processing unit. Let's say it takes 20 minutes to unload a 20 ton load of corn. So that makes it easy. The rate is one ton per minute. We've already decided that our application rate is going to be one pint per ton, and it takes one minute to grind a ton of corn. So our application per minute is one pint or 16 ounces. Always convert to ounces because that's how our application charts that come with the DE8 are expressed. Now we need to find a combination of pressure and nozzle color that yields 16 ounces per minute. Take out the handy dandy laminated application chart and look down the column marked ounce per minute one nozzle until you find 16.0 or something very close. You'll notice that with a green nozzle, the chart shows 15.5 and 16.5 ounces per minute at 25 to 30 PSI. Doing a little math, it's easy to calculate that 16 ounces per minute would be pumped when the pressure is set at 27.5 PSI. That's your setting. I like to be near the middle of the pressure range on a particular nozzle so we can increase or decrease pressure a little to fine tune application. Also try to avoid the tiny nozzles such as the olive and orange colored nozzles. The chances of clogging are greater. And if you don't mind mixing product more often, you can go with higher application rates and even larger nozzles. Generally it's not necessary to go with more than one nozzle for these applications. Multiple nozzles are most often used on balers for acid application to ensure even distribution. Maintenance on these DE8 applicators amounts to keeping everything as clean as possible, including the inline filter, checking the nozzle pattern, and making sure the pressure gauge is working. Those are the basics, and thank you for your attention. For more information, see your VitaPlus rep or contact Dorman Enterprises.